Anybody else have something on your heart? I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure I've been silent. I know a man in my family, and everybody just wants to preach my heart kind of the way God's mom and dad and the church and the people behind us and the whole world. You know, we're blessed that we've got a new generation coming out of I hope that they have some place. This church will never know them, but they're in what this church is meant for us to do. And it was, you know, it's a, a cloak going off and being passed down to the younger generation. I just hope that we can live up to it. Anyone else? 
come in and, and uh, worship him. And let him know that we love him and thank him for blessing us. And I appreciate Sister Cheryl. Wonderful testimony. Uh, every day. That's all we got is, as you mentioned, is the day. Tomorrow's, uh, yesterday's gone, tomorrow may not come, but today and, and how we need to take advantage of what the Lord's blessed us with and what He's given us and let it know that we're thankful for all these benefits that He gives us and I'm thankful for it. We appreciate you that are here this morning, appreciate those that are in the parking lot and some cars uh, this morning. We thank God for you. I want you to pray for the service today that the Lord would just bless and come by and help us and where I need his help. I always do. I can, can't uh, do anything without him. But, and I know that. And uh, the Lord knows that too. I tell him, I try to tell him every day how much I need his help and his leadership. But he's never failed us and he never will. And I'm thankful we've got a friend that will stick closer than a brother. And do remember all these folks around about that are sick and lost churches and able to have the revivals and services and uh, we're glad that uh, we've rescheduled the hours and we start in uh, September the, the 12th uh, and Brother Joey I checked with him uh, uh, this morning I guess it was the last time I can't remember um, uh, but anyway that works good for him uh, so he's going to be back and I know that we have preacher election before the revival ask the church to help us pray about that. I still need to get an answer of what the Lord would have me to do. And I'm to follow the Lord and I and, uh, uh, I don't want to I don't want to stay too long and I don't want to leave before the Lord gets through. So you help me and I'll try to give you an answer by next Sunday morning of what the Lord wants for us to do. So you help us today and you be earnest and we'll try to be earnest too with the Lord and uh, he'll help us. I know he will. He'll, he'll show us exactly what we need to do. But I love you this morning. I appreciate you. And uh, we thank God for his mercy and his goodness, how good he is to us and how blessed we are. And I realize that this morning. So uh, if you will, uh, if you want to turn with us, we're going to be reading in the, uh, the third chapter. I believe it is the third chapter of the book of Lamentations. We're going to start at the... Uh, 22nd uh, verse, and read just a few verses. It's the nearest thing, closest thing on our heart this morning. And I, while you're doing that, does uh, anyone have a prayer request you want to make mention of, or anything on your heart that we need to before we pray? system and our children that uh, they won't have to shut down again. I know that's, not, that's hard on, the, uh, on them doing the virtual and all of that. But let's just pray that God would intervene and help us and remember these revivals that he's going to start up tonight. These some that had to cancel that's supposed to start it tonight. I do. I believe that uh, Brother uh, Billy Cantor over at Old Sign, they're going to try to have theirs this week. So you remember them and pray for them. Brother Joey down where he pastors at Center Baptist Church in Parkville. They're going to be running this week. It'll be 10.30 in the morning, 7.30 at night. I think they start maybe 6 or 6.30 tonight. I'm not sure about the time tonight, but 7.30 at night throughout the week. So you can come with them and pray for them. And uh, let's just pray for one another. Thank you again.
from the day of the Lord help and strength, Lord, that which we've done, Lord. Uh, Father, you've given us, Lord. Father, just give you praise for all that you do, Father, how uh, you love us and care for us, Lord. And we, uh, Father, just want to uh, give you praise and praise given us to you, Father. We ask, Father, for all these that are sick and suffering round about. I know there's a lot of folks in need, Father. We pray for them. We pray for Brother Ed's dad there, that you'll be with him, Father, that you'll strengthen him. Step him for Lord. Uh, bless, uh, bless the family that's uh, waiting and uh, caring for him, Lord. I pray you strengthen them. Uh, Father, just all around about the church, Lord. Uh, uh, Father, we pray for them. We pray for these that are at the hospital, nursing home, rehab centers, Lord, wherever the needs might arise, Lord. I know that you're able to help. But you are a friend of him in the time of trouble. We always look to you, Father, this point is leadership. But we pray, Father, for these revivals and souls. Would be saved. We thank you for these that we've heard of being saved. We ask you, Lord, to continue to save throughout the summer, throughout the year, Lord. And Father, that people will uh, be able, Father, to get ready for them. We know you're soon coming. We're looking for you at any time. And I know today is the day of salvation, Lord. Tomorrow may not come, but right now is all that we have. And I pray for those, Lord, this morning that you spoke to, that uh, Lord, that they might realize their need of you. They'd seek you out with their whole heart and find you to be precious. I ask you, Lord, to just bless with the death angel that's come and take and love, Lord, comfort them. Father, be with them. Help them, oh Lord, today. I pray, Lord, that you'll just uh, bless here this morning. Lord, you help us today as we stand. Lord, that you stand by uh, your presence, your spirit, God, and give us utterance, Lord, that we might be able to uh, Father, uh, bring that that you have for us this morning. might be an encouragement uh, and help to the church. Help us all, Lord, today. We'll uh, bow our worthy heads. We'll give you praise, honor, and glory for it all. For it's in Jesus' name we do humbly pray. Amen. Amen. I do appreciate uh, the good on the prayer. We appreciate each one of you that are here this morning. We'll read just a verse to you. Pray for us. Uh, Thankful uh, uh, of the goodness of the Lord, and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, the, maybe the nearest thing or closest thing to our heart. And we've uh, just been praying this week, uh, Lord, uh, if He didn't send us help, did He give us something this morning to uh, try to be a help to you and encouragement to you? But you, uh, uh, you help us this morning and pray for us, and that we be able to get ourselves out of the way. I, I tell you this morning that. I, I know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And so we'd like to uh, maybe get beyond ourselves today and just look to the Lord for that that's needed. Uh, you pray, uh, as we mentioned, there's a lot of folks need help and uh, uh, need uh, the Lord's touch in their lives and help. And I know the Lord's only hope that we have today, but I'm glad that He is. Uh, a present help in the time of trouble. Let me read the 22nd uh, verse of the third chapter of the book of Lamentation. The Bible said, It is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. And that uh, reading of a portion out of the Word of God today, and I, I'm thankful this morning for the Word. I'm thankful for the, the Scriptures that's been left for us that we can read and find, uh, well, just find uh, encouragement in the Word of God as a the sister mentioned that the, the precious word, thank God, that he left for us, that we, uh, I, I, I don't know this morning, he would, uh, I, I, I'd hate to know that I had to fold my Bible up if I never got to read it anymore. I, I, we've tried to read down the journey and I tried to instill it in our hearts and our minds, but it would be, uh, it would be tough not having the scriptures, be able to read them every day and find Encouragement. I, I know the Lord would make a way for us, Brother Larry Joe, if we got to that place. Maybe, I don't know, I, I've heard of men and I knew of men that I, 
Habakkuk and Pahath, and I knew a few men that weren't able to read. They didn't have enough education to read it, but I knew one that uh, his wife would read to him, and then uh, he'd get up and preach. But I tell you, he had a Amen. He could retain what he'd heard. Uh, that is uh, uh, a companion they read to him. Thank God. And you didn't know that he couldn't read when he got up to preach the word of God. But I'm telling the Lord to make a way for us. He will when uh, uh, when we get to that place that we can't go and can't do. But I'm glad this morning I, I was just thinking about the Lord's compassion that he has on you and I today. And if it had Hadn't been for his mercy, would have been concerned. I thought about it, baby, and I, I, when we were young, and I think a lot of times we think we're invincible. A lot of times, the baby was just through the Lord's mercy that he kept us I, I safe down the journey. But I'm glad the Lord is always I, had compassion, thank God. And that's what we need today. I, I, but I'll say this this morning, when the Lord I, has blessed us with a portion of health and strength and given us I, I, the things that we've asked for, thank God, down the journey, then I, how we need with the thanks here. Thank him every day for being so good to us, I, I, for having compassion on us and our children, our grandchildren, our, our neighbors. Thank God this morning I thought about Brother Larry Joe was talking about the storm that came through and I, I did some damage. I, uh, and uh, we don't ever know what's going to come our way, but it's through the Lord's I, I mercy and his compassion that nobody was hurt or anything like that in the things that are going on uh, uh, in our world today. It's just through the Lord's compassion and His mercy that He had on us. Uh, and I'm glad the Lord's still showing mercy. I thought about in the Scripture uh, how the Lord thanked God when He came through. And, uh, amen. He had compassion on people. Thank God. And uh, uh, He helped them. Thank God. I thought about that in the Scripture this one time. Uh, uh, the scripture said there was two blind men that came and called out to the Lord and uh, asked him for uh, uh, mercy upon them. And, uh, and he said, what would you have that I do for you? And they said that we might have, uh, uh, might receive our sight. The Bible said that God, uh, and that Jesus had compassion on them. And, uh, amen. And he spoke the word and they received their sight. Uh, how many times the Lord has shown mercy on you and I. I? A lot of times I thought about I, my brother David. I asked him how this morning how he was, and he said, better than I deserve. I, and how true that is, thank God we're blessed. I, I'm more than we deserve today, and I know that I am. I, I, this morning, a lot of times that we might I, I, complain and I, I feel sorry for ourselves. But if we get to looking around, thank God, and, I, and just see how good we do have it this morning, I think we, I, I thank God, be more willing to thank the Lord and have a smile. I, amen. And be thankful it is as well as it is with us. I thought about I, I, one time the Bible talked about a, a woman there that she, I, as Christ was coming into the city, that I, I, she met a funeral possession that was going out to, uh, uh, to the cemetery and the Bible said there was a little woman there uh, uh, that was falling uh, uh, the bar of the casket there to the cemetery and uh, uh, the Bible said that she was weeping and those that were with her began to weep uh, uh, because of her loss but uh, her only son thank God it passed but I'm glad the Bible said that Jesus uh, amen and had compassion on her, thank God. I, I'll tell you that many times, Brother Larry, that the Lord I, has looked on you and I and had compassion on you and I, thank God, I, and helped us in the day of trouble, the time of trouble. I, amen. The Bible said that he I, 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 I put his hand on the bar there and that 
they saw. And he said, young man, arise. The Bible said he stood up and got there in the casket and began to speak. Amen. Thank God this morning that the Lord's compassion. How many times, brother, that we have been to the doctor and we've been sick and the doctors prescribed exactly what we needed and we got better. It's through the Lord's compassion that that came about. How many times have we got word? We've got cancer or whatever. Amen. And he said, help along our way. I know that I've heard of this and I believe in healing. I do. I believe the Lord's able. He made us thinking. Amen. He thinks what's wrong, but a lot of times, brother, that we don't get well, but he gives us grace to get through. Amen. Thank God I'll tell you this. I believe in healing. I do this morning. Amen. But I believe if we believe this morning that the Lord has saved this soul of ours, and we know that this outer man is temporal. It's subject to sickness, brother. There's going to be one come along. One of these days going to take us out of this life. But thank God for his love and his compassion that he sent his son that we wouldn't have to die and our soul die this morning and be cast off into the, the, the flames of hell. But thank God he sent his son. Have compassion upon us, thank God. He came and took our sins. Amen. Somebody mentioned maybe Brother Randall about the love that Christ was under when he went to Calvary there. Amen. Not that that he's going to lose his life, but he was carrying the souls of every person when he went up the hill. Thank God. What a load. But it's only through the Lord's compassion this morning that he was willing. Thank God to take my sins, your sins there, and be nailed to a cruel cross. And love the sad bloods, thank God, that we could have a life, thank God. It doesn't mean that we're not, not going to have trouble, but thank God, since he saved us, thank God, he put a joy down on the inside. Amen. Whether we live or whether we die, we belong to the Lord, thank God. And we know that things are better down where he is. Where he went to prepare a place for it. It's a better place. Thank God. It's only through the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed and through his compassion that we, he had upon us. Thank God. Amen. That he's been compassion. He proved himself so many times. And compassion. Thank God that he was able. This little widow woman, thank God, her only son, and died. But thank God, aren't you glad the Lord? Amen. His death went out. Thank God, life came in. Thank God that he showed up right in time. Right on time. Thank God the mechanic and you sing that a song about a lad who's been dead four days but amen he had compassion on those sisters thank God amen he said where is he laid him and they said Lord by now he's thinking amen but he said Martha did I say unto you if you don't believe how you could see the glory of God this morning thank God how our lives this morning ought to rip Represent the glory of God and what He's done for us down the journey. Brother Randall, you told me huh, about when you were a young man before you were married. Huh, I had a wreck there. Huh, uh, I was in the hospital and maybe one or two that was when you passed. Huh, and uh, maybe one died in the accident, but it was just through the Lord's huh, uh, mercy and compassion that you're here today. How many of us, huh, if we look back over our lives, and been happy and been with the Lord. Ha, amen. Taking care of us. Ha, ha, brother, it would have the scene could have changed. Ha, amen. This morning, but I tell you, the Lord's good. He's good to us all the time. So, ha, amen. I don't want to grumble or complain to you. 
this morning, but I want to give him praise I, and thank him for taking care of us. I, amen. And presented us, thank God. I, amen. With a, I, with a way of going, thank God that we're back. I, I know COVID's been bad and we've heard I, I, people, some of our friends and loved ones have passed. I, I, but I've heard those that I knew that passed that they knew. I, amen. They got, I, amen. Thank God that they were you the Lord, thank God they got to go on home to be with the Lord. Amen. To be in the presence of the Lord, thank God. As he spoke to the man there on the cross that today that thief, the one that was by him there said, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. Amen. That was a much better place than where he was headed. Thank God it was just through the Lord's compassion. Amen. That the word was preached to us one time when we believed it. I, amen. Isaiah said, who hath believed I reported to whom is the arm of the Lord. I, I revealed, thank the Lord that I, he revealed himself unto me one time. I, amen. If he had to come by, I'd have probably died I, in my sin to be in hell today, but it was through his mercy. I, amen. That he, I, amen. You where I was and had compassion on me, saw me, lost and died. I, but he sent his word, thank God. I sent somebody by that had compassion enough to preach the word to me in the church. I, compassion enough to pray for me. I, amen. Get me to the place to where I can hear the gospel. Thank God this morning. I, how many times the Lord I, has took care of us of how dangerous seen and unseen. How many times have we been down the road and around the curve. I, I, somebody I, on our I side of the road with the Lord I, I moved them over before we got there. I, I sister Rosalie, I, I just a few days had a wreck, I, I, but I'm thankful that the Lord, I, I brother, I just a split second got her out of the harm's danger there and hit the back door instead of the driver's side door there I, and spared her life. I, it's through the Lord's mercy this morning. How many times that he's done that for you and I? How many times that we pray for our lost friends and loved ones and it's just through the Lord's mercy that he's still, amen, and they may not have moved toward him yet, but thank God still keep praying for them, and the Lord's mercy, thank God, let's keep asking for them, that the Lord will have mercy on them, that they might see their need of him, and call upon him, and seek him while there's still time this morning, I'm glad this morning that the Lord has proved himself so many times faithful to Lazarus, uh, the Bible said that as they uh, went toward the tomb there, that they were moving, uh, Mar uh, Mary was weeping, the people were weeping. The Bible said that Jesus well, uh, uh, he did. Thank God he was compassionate toward those folks. I uh, uh, thank God. And I'll tell you this morning when we weep, thank God when our hearts are broken, the Lord, uh, I'm glad he can be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. Uh, amen. He's not a God away off of God or somewhere he doesn't care, but he cares this morning. He feels, uh, hey man, when we're broken hearted, he feels that. He knows what we're going through. Uh, hey man, and he's able to comfort us with his presence and his word. Thank God for his good spirit. I, I'm thankful for it this morning. And I, I'm glad the Lord's mercy. <laughs> Amen. They're from generation to generation. He just didn't pick uh, just a few and then a certain time to be compassionate. But he's good all the time. He's compassionate. He, it's not his will that any perish. He doesn't want, uh, he doesn't have any pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that wicked man and that wicked person would turn from their wicked ways and, and find him to be precious this morning. I know that hell has enlarged herself uh, and opened her without me because of people I, I thank God rejected I, I'm the Lord I, 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 but God's I, compassion that he made heaven big enough for everybody that would hear this morning and accept him and I'm thankful for his compassion today and how, 
He's compassionate to all of us. The scriptures, uh, just uh, uh, scripture after scripture, that the Lord, uh, when he came upon a situation, he had compassion, had compassion. And I, and I tell you, that's what he wants you and I as the church this morning, to have compassion. We can uh, look at people's lives and say, well, if they... Uh, uh, it, it's their own doing. They, 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 they took that route. Uh, and it's just for them, uh, them for it. But I'll tell you, if we're compassionate, uh, if we've got the love of God, I believe we'll get to praying for that person that their eyes will be open, that there's help for them. And he may ask you to go and try to witness and minister to their needs like God and help them. To get out the place that they were in. I tell you, I, if somebody falls in the ditch and you say, Well, I thought about the man that went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves. Uh, the Levi and the priest that didn't have any compassion, didn't have any mercy. They didn't, didn't try to heal that man. But I, I tell you, if somebody come by that had some compassion, thank God they cared for somebody. And I tell you this morning, that's what we need as a church. We need a caring heart. Compassionate Amen. toward people that are out there in the world and then sin. That we're praying for them. These, these folks that get hooked on drugs and all of these things that the world has to offer. I, I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for their families. We try to pray for them and, 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 and that the Lord will be able to help them somehow get them out of that situation that they're in. So I know this this morning. I know that the Lord's able. How many uh, in days gone by that were alcoholics that the church got to pray for them and thank God and uh, that person got under conviction and they got saved and the Lord took care of that habit they had, that, that, that addiction they had. And I, and I tell you, the Lord's able this morning. Thank God if you're addicted to sin, thank God he's able to take that old heart out and uh, clean it up, thank God, and, uh, and give you a new heart, thank God. And, and, and uh, Put some love and compassion down there and set your feet on it. That's what it did for me. Thank God I was just a young boy, but I was a sinner. I was headed down to hell. I was. I knew it. But I'm glad the Lord had compassion on me and saved my soul. Thank God. And set my feet in the right path. Thank God. And it, uh, it made all the difference. It made all the difference. And it still works that way. I'm glad the Lord is compassionate unto us this morning. He's, he, he does want to save the lost and dying world today. He wants to help them that are in sin. All I know a lot of times that all the help that I can be is try to pray for folks and try to help them to find, uh, get in, come in contact with them, let them know we're praying. And if there's anything we can do, then we want to help them. We really do this morning. But I, I tell you, the power of prayer can change things this morning. So, Let's do all we can. Try to be a help, be compassionate to those that are in need. And I tell you this morning, we uh, are looking forward to our revival, Brother Joy, being with us. And you pray for Brother Joy that they'll have a good week. The Lord will keep them safe down there. And they'll be so saved over here at Old Zion with Brother Billy and Brother Cecil Townley that's going to be heading over there. The Lord will keep those folks safe. They'll have a soul saved. And let's just pray. Do what we can. Try to be a help. You can't go. Don't feel safe from going. You pray for them. You pray for them every day. You mention their name. And I tell you, it, I believe it'll, it'll be a help to them. Anybody, I feel like I'm through this morning. That was what was on my heart this morning.